Well, I just noticed something. This computer engine that this monitor is sitting onto, they both actually match. They both have the same number. So this monitor here goes with this computer. You can see the button there, the button there. See the lights. With the, uh, see the lights when they're in that rectangular form. And there's that light there with that rectangle right there. And somebody stole my IBM symbol. Damn it. So anyway, um, this computer had Windows 95 on it, and now I'm going to show you what it has on it now, and some of you hate this operating system. It's not Vista. This thing's way too old. Okay. This uh, computer had um, 16 megabytes of RAM. It has um, uh, 32 megabytes. And if you saw that, it's Windows ME. Let, let me show you what it has underneath this door. It has a floppy, and I just put a CD drive in because when I got it, it didn't have one. Took me whole like it took me a long time to find one that actually fits, like that's compatible with IBM. So this computer does work, but it's kind of slow. It has a three gig hard drive, um, I think Western Digital or Seagate. I think it's Seagate. I don't know what I'd do with the one that was in it, but... Oh. Here it is. This one was a 3 gig, but... Or so I think. No, this one was a 1 gig. Never mind. Hello, 3 gig. Now, let me show you how the... Uh, video speeds are by playing Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Arcade. I hope some of you remember this. As you can see, the graphics are good on here. Um, it doesn't slow down. That's pretty shocking for 32 megabytes. So, I'm exiting the game now because I only got 7 minutes left on the camera. Any of you who had this game installed on your computer, well, it really does bring back memories when I was six years old. I remember owning a computer, but not like this one. I'm happy that I, I finally found the matching system that goes with the monitor. All these years I thought that this monitor went with that computer. It didn't really, it goes with this one.
there you go. So now, before I even shut this thing down, let's get the Windows uh, 2000 sound, uh, log off sound working. I know what some of you are thinking, and you're like, oh, this thing's taking forever. Well, this is the 90s for you. Thing wishes it was fast, though. Okay, so we're gonna apply that. And now the log off sound works. Oh. Hmm, a little problem with the operating system, but that's an easy fix. must have really fucked something up. But anyway, that's what this computer does and all I did was I took the hard drive out of um, one of the computers that weren't wasn't really running well. It didn't have sound and it didn't have color. Decided to put it in this computer. It gave me sound and color. But also I would like to let you guys know that this computer does not have USB ports on it. So in order for me to transfer my data, I have to put a DVD burner inside, find a DVD rewritable disk, put the disk inside my laptop, burn whatever files onto it, put it onto this computer, copy all the files off it, and then put it back in my laptop and format it. That's doing it the old fashioned redneck way. Thanks for watching everyone.